I'm Charles Manjon, Chairman of Vermolta, been Chairman since uh, 2017 by now. 2018 has been an excellent year, both in tourism numbers and uh, in revenue returns. Obviously, Air Malta has contributed a lot to this. Why? Because Air Malta introduced 21 new routes and increased its capacity by 30% during 2018. And this reflected itself in an increase of about 300,000 more passengers being carried by the, by the airline. The price sensitiveness of the airline industry, competitiveness and increased capacity put pressures on Air Malta and we have uh, reacted to this by introducing new structure within the economy class with the go light with the go smart and the introduction also of ancillary services on board especially the buy on board we have committed four million investment in the it with the idea of integrating the whole it system from uh, the booking engines to the scheduling the rostering and the passenger handling into one integrated it unit and also we are focusing on artificial intelligence and blockchain. Furthermore, we are improving on our business class. Kappa acknowledged that Air Malta has been the turnaround airline of the year and we received an award for that. And I think that is a, a very important event in the history of Air Malta during these, these 12 months. A challenging year for, for the airline, but I think it has been also a successful way in some, in some respect. We have learned from it and uh, we have also introduced new initiatives which I think will bear fruit um, in future years. Noel Farrugia representing FATA, the Association of Travel Agents, which comprises members from the private sector for the incoming and outgoing travel agents and tour operators. In 2018 was another record year. I mean, um, the expectations were that we would reach Malta would reach 2.5 million tourists in AM, which I believe has been achieved. Um, uh, of course, the growth is still there. 2019, the prospects are looking very good. One has to pay attention to study um, what will happen to the infrastructure, what will happen to many situations. Uh, so I believe uh, some studies have to be done um, to make sure that, that, that um, the growth will be a good growth and not unsustainable. Through MTA, the relations between FATA and MTA, our representatives of FATA on MTA, uh, on the newly, newly formed insolvency board. Um, no, the relationship, the working relationship is very good and uh, the minister and the people concerned uh, in the tourist industry, they hear our voice as well. And I believe it's, that is the best, the best relation, the best working, working relationship that one can have to make sure that that business, that tourism will continue to grow and to flourish and to, to, to be, as I said before, to be sustainable um, in the years to come. Hi, my name is James Perry. I'm the CEO of Feltim and welcome to our offices. The past year was a very interesting year for Feltim. In fact, as a federation, we are working hard to make sure to sustain uh, this industry, the ELT industry, which is a very important industry, as we could see it roughly constitutes 10% of our total bed nights. Uh, this year we had a fantastic year uh, with very good collaboration with the government and MTA. In fact, uh, this year we are sponsoring, uh, MTA is sponsoring a research uh, with regards to the ELT industry to understand better of how we can improve this industry and make sure that it is sustainable along the years. Apart from that, we worked also towards getting uh, fan trips like the Brazilian fan trip that we had in uh, December, uh, which was sponsored, partly sponsored by MTA, um, in the pursuit to obviously attract this Brazilian market. I must say that uh, Feltham has worked hard, very hard with the, these agencies, and in 2019, in fact, Malta is being featured as the destination to learn English. I think 2019 is going to be an interesting year. First of all, for Feltim, we are going to continue working hard to attract um, uh, from different markets, um, always getting more students here to learn English. Apart from that, uh, together with the government, I'm hoping that we continue uh, improving and, and ensuring the sustainability of this industry uh, to get more numbers and uh, increase the numbers of students coming to learn English more. 
During 2018, destination Gozo, similarly to Malta, continued to register an increase on 2017 in the number of tourist arrivals who overnighted one night or more in Gozetin accommodation. This increase in arrival was spread almost along the months, yet with a noticeable and significant increases along the difficult winter months. In fact, during these winter months, the registered increase was a double-digit growth of 25% when compared with the same period of 2017. The Gozitin tourism sector welcomes these increases with satisfaction and encourages the touristic entrepreneurs to continue with their investments to upgrade their touristic product. Furthermore, it is encouraging to note that such increases are helping Destination Gozo to mitigate its seasonality. My name is Russell Muscat, I'm the marketing manager of Heritage Malta. I'm responsible of marketing and, and communications. We are currently at St. Paul's Catacombs, uh, which is one of the Roman sites here in Malta, which is attracting uh, quite an amount of, of, of tourists, an um, ever-increasing amount of tourists every year. 2018 was particularly good for, for Heritage Malta. Um, we did well in the, in the traditional markets. There were particular uh, sites also that, that an increased number of visitors vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the, the other years. And this shows the, the good collaboration with, with MTA and the work that MTA is doing abroad because there are particular markets from particular countries which were not normally featuring in, in, in our statistics and in our visits and which are attracting um, their own particular audiences and, and it's helping us to boost um, niche markets like the religious market.